Hey everybody, in this quick tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can adjust your character's head and neck size in a couple of various scenarios where you'd want to uh, to do that with different types of characters. So on the screen right now we have this uh, elegant looking female character. You can see she's looking quite beautiful. And what we're going to be doing here is just adjusting her head and neck size to make her look a little bit, just a tad bit more elegant. Just a nice little touch there. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your head uh, settings up here. You can also use the H hotkey. And generally for the female type of characters, you want to lengthen the neck a little bit. You can make the neck stocky, but it doesn't look as nice. I mean, obviously that looks not as beautiful and elegant if you have the shorter neck length. So for realistic human uh, females, you probably want to stretch the neck a little bit, make it a little bit longer, not too much. I mean, you don't want to put it like that, so she's a giraffe. You want to make it a little bit longer, just something like this. And in addition to that, you may want to decrease the neck size as well, just to make it look a little bit uh, more elegant. All right, I'm using that word a lot here. But, uh, I mean, that looks quite a bit nicer than it did before. And now you can, you can see we have this really beautiful uh, long neck, uh, slender neck for this female character. So that's one example, you know, where you'd really want to um, adjust the neck, just a slight adjustment. You see I just went a little bit, a couple points over, and you get a much nicer result uh, than before. So for male characters, let's go ahead and bring in one of our uh, 3D actors here. This guy comes embedded with uh, Crazy Talk 8, our boy Mike here. So Mike is a good example of a uh, strong, tough-looking character right here. So with this guy, what I generally want to do is probably toughen him up a little bit. So with him, you can just kind of take down the neck length a little bit. And when you do that, it kind of makes him look a little bit stockier. You know, if you, if you stretch out his neck, it looks a little bit strange for this type of character. Um, he's bare chested here. He's a, he's a strong dude. So we want to take his neck length quite a bit down. And we also want to probably stretch out his neck length or his neck size a little bit as well. And you can see now he looks a lot more, a lot stronger, uh, a lot, especially around the neck and the shoulders area. Just by adjusting those two values, you can take the neck even further down. You know, you don't want to take it too extreme, but, uh, you know, stretching out the neck like this can really expand those, because even the shoulder muscles are moving as well. Um, so then you get this really, you know, tough looking dude right here, and uh, um, he's probably someone you don't want to mess with, especially with those uh, piercing eyes. All right, so this is just two examples of, you know, where you'd want to adjust the neck and head size for realistic characters. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in a cartoon character, and this one can be found in iClone. This is uh, Winston from our Tokamotion content pack. Let's go ahead and you can find him in the stylized character morphs pack as well. Just uh, take Winston and we're going to click and drag him into Crazy Talk 8, and I'll show you some exaggerated type of uh, looks with this cartoon-like character. Okay, so with this kind of guy, there's a lot of fun you can have with him. You can really stretch him out a lot. You can see his neck length is already quite long. We can, you know, take the neck length down and uh, take the neck size up, you know, make him a little bit more normal. But this guy, I like to think of him as an awkward, you know, gangly, uh, old old guy. So what I generally like to do with this guy is probably just take his neck size really far down. Not as, you know, not to the extreme, but uh, and really stretch his neck out. And you can see he becomes like a, almost like a bobblehead type character uh, with this kind of neck size. And you can also emphasize that by increasing the head scale as well. If we pump up the head scale, then we have, you know, Winston and uh, if we play back, you can see very exaggerated. You can play like a really exaggerated animation, like maybe if we go to our animations over here um, in our voice script, we have something like this, a bragging animation that I always like to use. Ha! So what? You can't touch me, because I'm from the internet. All right, it's so a lot of head movement there, and it looks like his... Uh, his necks on a sw or his head's on a swivel, pretty much there. Now, one more character I want to show you before we uh, close out here. I'm just going to go to my uh, custom 3D actors. I have this uh, bear, this uh, toon bear. This is also from uh, Tokamotion in the stylized animals pack you can find on the content store. So for this bear, you can see he looks like a pretty basic bear. I mean, a pretty cartoon-like bear. If you wanted to, you can also take his head scale down and really make him seem like a like a stronger, taller bear. You can see when I take that head scale down, it makes his body look a lot larger, like almost like he's a lot taller, and it's emphasizing the body as opposed to the head. So we can also, you know, take that neck size down a little bit or pump it up. I mean, we don't want to make it too buff. I think the neck size can be just normal, and then we can take the uh, neck length down as well. And you can see his neck is quite long naturally, so if we take that down, 
You see, it looks a bit more, a bit less threatening and more, more inviting maybe. And you can take the head down, all the head scale down all the way to make him look a little bit uh, smaller. Or if you want to make him more lovable and cute, you can pump up the head scale and maybe increase the neck length there as well. I think something like this would be, uh, you know, make him look all lovable and cute right there. All right, and then we can have the same animation with him as well. Ha! So what? You can't touch me, because I'm from the internet. So there's our lovable cute bear, and there's our... Uh, you know, strong looking, uh, tall bear right there. All right. So just a couple of, uh, fun examples of what you can do by adjusting the head settings with, uh, realistic and cartoon like characters. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and our other Crazy Talk 8.1 tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.